Welcome back to the channel. In this week's video, I head to an offshore reef and hope to find some black bream and sea bass. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any upcoming content. This was literally my first dive of the day. As I dived down, I could see bass swimming around, so I knew it was gonna be quite, um, quite lively down there. So as I go down, I notice a shoal of fish coming towards me, and they're actually bream. So this is my first time actually shooting a bream. Um, unfortunately, I miss. Unfortunately, after missing that fish, uh, I go to reload my gun and snap one of the bands. This next shot uh, was on a bream. Quite a tricky shot as the fish was surrounded by smaller bass. Um, I didn't want to spear a small bass, so landing this shot was actually quite hard. I nearly pulled the trigger and realized that it was in front of a small one. Um, but luckily, hang on just enough time for the fish to come into my, uh, into my range. Scares all the bass away, but luckily I've got the bream on the end of my spear. So I drop that fish off at the boat and come back down to exactly the same location uh, as before where I just shot that last bream. Staying as low and as quiet as possible to the kelp. And I notice again, another bream coming in. Comes in just close enough for me to hit the shot on it. Once again, scaring all the bass off, but I've got another bream on the end of the spear. So as you can see, there's a lot of fish around still, but none, none that are big enough. Um, but then a, another bream comes into, into my sight. I hit it, the spear goes through, but I didn't realize that the spear had come off the end of my uh, line. So I then swim to try and catch the fish, but unfortunately, I couldn't quite get a hold of it. So this one, unfortunately, escapes me. I did spend another two or three dives trying to locate the fish as I didn't want to leave it there um, suffering, but unfortunately I couldn't find it. So that one did get away. On this clip, the bat 
class uh, are that inquisitive that they think that the end of my spear is some sort of bait fish, like a sand eel or you know, the equivalent. So they come right up to the tip of the spear, uh, they get spooked off a little bit. In the background again there's another bream. I'm pretty sure I hit this one, but it manages to come off the spear unfortunately. No matter what fish you're hunting, uh, two points to take away is to remain as quiet as possible when on the surface and when you're doing your dive and also to remain as low to the ground or the kelp as you possibly can. Uh, as you can see here, I'm not in very deep water um, and I've been really quiet and you can see some bass just below me um, and a few in the surrounding area that haven't even seen me yet. So having shot a few bream, I decided to focus on a few bass. Um, I hang on just long enough here to see uh, a quite nice sized bass come into the screen. As you can see here, it creeps up from the left, just through the kelp, and I managed to land a nice shot just through, straight through its head. Having not shot a bass on the homemade gun yet, I decided to go down with this one once again. And within, you know, 10, 15 seconds, a nice one comes in and I just managed to scrape the hit there. Personally, I don't think there's a better feeling than landing a fish on a gun that you've made yourself. With my bag limit reached on the bass and having caught three sea bream, I decided to pack the boat up, head back into shore and cook up what I'd caught during the day.
you probably couldn't quite appreciate the size of the bass on the video, but um, you know, as you can see here, they're quite a reasonable size. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, this way you won't miss any new videos. If you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below.